Once weekly Manjaro. Don't forget to download the FanDuel app. A number one. Don't forget to that. <laughs> America's number one app, FanDuel. That's not right. I know how to read. I'm just nervous. But you know. <laughs> Don't forget to chat. Quit, man. Oh, that was who okay. is drinking. <laughs> Kenny improvises. Not trying to do Kenny. I'll just read it verbatim. America's number one app, FanDuel. Sportsbook today. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Auburn University education. <laughs> Come to Auburn. No, don't forget. <laughs> Jack, Jack, I thought you were leaving, man. Don't forget to download the FanDuel app, America's number one sports book. Today's question, who wins today's game? Hawks or Spurs? I'm going with the Spurs. <laughs> oh, see, you got jokes up there. Uh, not only was that the most painful pre-tape we've ever seen, you got it wrong. Uh, as the Hawks. That, was, that was a painful game to watch. You beat the San Antonio You should have just played to watch the second half. 109 to 99 is your final score. Spurs were down 35 in this game, cut it to six. They could have got it to four. Yeah. Yeah. They could throw the ball, yeah. yeah. Uh, welcome. It's a game break. Uh, 6 10 Eastern Time. We got the tip for the Golden State Warriors and the Memphis Grizzlies. Draymond Green returns for Golden State. Will not start, but will play. Uh, welcome, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley, Candace Parker sitting in for the ailing Kenny the Jet Smith. What? Get well, Jet. Yeah, there you Get go. Get well, Jet. It's, it, Jet. It was a couple of weeks ago you left. Uh, I showed six. up, though. No, but yeah, yeah but, then you, but then you left. So there's some stuff going yeah. around. Hey, Kenny, get well soon. Yep. Be Jet. careful. It's going to get the sand on your toes. How about, how about Victor Wembenyama? His second half. Didn't even start the second half of this game. Scoreless in the first half on 0 of 4 shooting and then goes for 26 in the second half on 12 of 14 shooting, had a couple of blocks, had nine boards. What'd you make of what you saw from the big fellow there in the second half? It's super impressive. I like what Pop did. Uh, you know, sending the kids a message that, hey, in order to be great, you have to come, come out and play hard. You know, he probably thought he was playing hard, but every now and then when you're a big superstar, you need a person that you respect. To that was a move. That you're not playing hard. So he came out second half and, you know, gave them, you know, a chance to win. And I think, you know, with all the hype behind his name, uh, deservingly so, this is what we expect to see from this kid, 12 and 14. Me and Candace saw him do a move I've never seen before. That's a drop step from, from two feet inside the three-point line and dunk it. I've never seen that before, but very impressed with his, with his second half. But kudos to uh, Coach Pop for sending this kid a match. Like, I remember the first time that happened to me, Brian Hill didn't start me in the second half, and I was like, what's going on? He's like, you're not playing hard enough. Then I got upset, and then I played hard, so. No, it's exactly right, because Dennis yes. Scott even said that yep. as the third quarter began when the, when the starters came out for San Antonio, and, and, and 3D was telling us, Pop was saying he's going to put the guys in there who have shown energy in mm -hmm. the game, and, and Victor was not one of them. Yeah, but here's the thing. Um, you know, Jamal Crawford and Reggie said it. He was up on the bench, he was clapping, he wasn't sulking. And when he got his time, he came in. And the way that he can impact the game, even when he's not scoring, is what's so impressive. There's so many shots that he alters. Uh, just his presence, like, deters layups. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many times where he, he's able to get deflections, rebounds. Mm -hmm. We saw him run the floor and get a rebound after blocking, you know, after, you know, getting a dunk at the other end. So I just think that this guy can impact the game, not just with scoring, but also just with his presence. Yeah, but five, they had five blocks on the night. But they have to get him more involved. You see how active he is when he's involved. You showed the stats. There's never a half where he should get four shots. And no, if, he, if no. he ever plays basketball, he should never get four shots. He should get but four shots a quarter. A quarter, yes, 100%. But you see when they were giving him the ball because he got really active. He's blocking shots. He's rebounding. But when you show that stat, I'm like, yo, man, you other guys ain't no good. Why he only get four shots? 
Meantime, Trey Young goes for 36 on the night, 17th 30-point game of the season for him, also 13 assists, his 25th game with double-digit assists this season. And he was great in the first half. There was You couldn't stop him as he scored 29, <clears throat> held the seven in the second half, Candace. Yeah, 29 points, and San Antonio, get this, only scored 34. So he was trailing San Antonio's team by five. But that's what it was in the first half. It was Trey Young at the point of attack making San Antonio pay. And they made the adjustment uh, pop, picked him up full court, and made it more difficult for him in the second half. Uh, so 109-99 is your final score as the Hawks knock off the San Antonio Spurs who fall to 7-32. and 32. 